Manamana. 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 All right, welcome to Dice Chunkies. I'm Zeno Damus. I'm here with Q. And we have on Skype. Blood X. All right, let's get started. Uh, this week we had the Tokyo Game Show, which uh, showed us a few things. I, I, I wasn't super excited about this one, but uh, we did get some announcements from Square and some other companies that uh, that's somewhat exciting. Uh, biggest excitement would most likely be the new Final Fantasy. That is actually, at least so far, going to be coming out on Xbox. Um, so that and obviously is, PlayStation. Yeah. It's the uh, Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origins. Uh, it got a release demo. Uh, the second demo is coming soon. It's set at the end with multiplayer features, and it's going to be on PS5 and Xbox Series X. So... Uh, this will be a Final Fantasy game that will be on both. We don't have to worry about those nasty Sony exclusives. Um, <laughs> so it's always, it's always nice to see. I mean, the video looked really good. Um, you know, I live for action RPGs, man. And uh, this looks like an action RPG. Looks like you have different class like abilities because I see like monk weapons, I see swords. I think I see a, a scene where he's wielding a magic staff. So it looks like you'll have uh, the ability to use your preferred combat style. Um, they in a the trailer already reveal his name is Jack Garland for y'all big Final Fantasy OGs. Y'all know that the main villain of uh, Final Fantasy One, the first Final Fantasy. It's really weird when you say the first Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah. But uh was Garland. And given that they show Garland in the armor in the end, uh it's you and it's called Origins. You may be getting the origins of the big baddie. But action RPG, man, is the way I prefer my RPGs now. So I'm really feeling this. Uh but what cr was crazy is while they don't show anything in this trailer that implies it. There was talk of multiplayer going to be in the next trailer they put out. And I was like, you're telling me I can play with my boys? Yeah, see, there is him in the armor, and that's where they do the voice dialogue of him saying he's Garland. And if you played Final Fantasy One, you know that artwork from there that that's Garland, the main baddie. Yeah, so, and so it has a, what, a March... Uh, 2022. Yeah, March 18th, 2022. 2022. Um, and it was at the end where we saw the multiplayer features announced, so... I know I'm, I'm excited about this one. Uh, this is, I, I mean, I, I've, I've always loved final fantasy. Um, the, you know, the latest final fantasies haven't really been doing it for me. So we'll go the opposite way with a prequel and see a if prequel they can do the first <laughs> yeah. game. Like I got to admit, they said, you think guys think y'all do prequels? <laughs> We're going to do prequel, prequel, yeah. prequel. So see, see if they can catch my attention with a prequel. Um, with the multiplayer features, that's always cool. I know Blood Axe is uh, usually pretty big in the multiplayer. Uh, him and Q. I'm I not. Love PvE, yeah, dude. love PVE. I, I, I suck at playing with my friends, but yes, uh, yes you do. <laughs> what, 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 what what you think, Blood Axe? You, you're the multiplayer king. <laughs> I just got mad thinking about that. Well, I, I don't know if I can go that far with it. But uh, it's something that I'm definitely looking forward to. Um, the only problem we're going to run into is coming out on the 18th of March while Tiny Tina's Wonderland is coming out on the 25th. So we've got about seven days of playtime before we'll probably switch games. Um, so that's the only concern that I would have with it is, you know, which game do we play? However, we'll probably end up playing that game independently, but definitely play uh, Wonderland together as a group because that's one of the games that we're really looking forward to as Borderlands fans. Um, but I am excited to get back in some Final Fantasy playing, but more importantly, playing with my brother uh, and hopefully we can kick Xeno's ass into that group as well and see what we can do as, as a group, as, as the Dice Junkies. And of course, we'll probably also stream that shit and load it to YouTube as well. I want to run rampant over Tiny Tina's Wonderland, dude. I'm a, you know what? Yeah. I'm a school all y'all. I, I tell you I'm what, uh, we'll we'll throw this out to Xbox. If if you if you wanna if you wanna figure out which one we'll uh, we'll play first or put more time into, uh, 
It may just be whichever one shows up on Game Pass, right? <laughs> well, that's going to be a Final Fantasy. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I don't see uh, Wonderland coming on Game Pass. No, so they didn't as a group, will probably be. Yeah, no. Borderlands well, and, and, isn't. Oh, go ahead, man. Oh no, we'll we'll buy that one probably at launch. I know I will. Um, mm-hmm. uh, hopefully, I won't have any bugs like I did the last time. But <laughs> as a group, yeah, the Game Pass games will definitely probably see all three of us running together if if it's worth our time. Mm-hmm. Unlike the last game, with it shall not be named, was a piece of crap. Which, well, which no, part? Which one? I guess that's my thing. Like I, I actually see spending money on Borderlands when it comes out. I don't mm-hmm. know if I'll, even though this looks awesome, I don't know if I'd pay money for it on day of release. I'm willing to wait to see if it'll get on Game Pass. Mm-hmm. As much as I love that they put five, mainly also because, like they're they look like like just a side note. I found out that apparently December they're going to put Final Fantasy VII remake out on Xbox. So I've been wanting to play that. It's only twenty nine ninety nine right now, so I probably will grab that. But I don't see myself paying full price for this unless I see something that really wows me. Whereas I'm already won over. But like you said, that that's probably going to be full price day of release. Probably going to grab the the season pass because I have to say, despite the main storyline being so annoying, Borderlands Three is one of my best game investors I've had in a while. For each season pass, was great. Other than Arms Race, I have no complaint. Arm, arms Race and man, whoever wrote the stories for the main game, like oh, I tried to warn Zeno. And he still wasn't ready. He still was just like, oh, my God. I'm like, dude, just get to the DLC. It gets better at DLC. He's like, but. I'm like, I know. We told you. You thought we were just lying? But, like, Tiny Tina's Wonderland won't have that problem because it's a side story. And on top of that, make my own character. Dude, the build case of possibilities where I get to really customize and mix and match. Only thing we got to worry about, Blood Axe, is that they do like to change stuff. So we're going to be constantly trying to stay ahead of the nerf. But they also let you respect. Because right. they're going to, boy, that they go through Borderlands 3, constantly changing abilities. But you know what? That's lots of videos content. So, you know, we'll, we'll stay ahead of it. Yeah. This and set, just to oh, wrap God. it up so we can move on, I know we got some other subjects. Um, but uh, Gearbox has always done Borderlands 1, 2, and 3 extraordinarily well. Uh, uh, so it's one of the few games that I can pretty much guarantee it's going to be, uh, a fun play. Uh, hopefully the story will go back towards the, the, the fan service side with, with that tiny Tina, which is probably most gamers favorite character from that, uh, that franchise, uh, not including Mad Moxie. Um, so I'll definitely purchase it and hopefully we can convince Zeno to do it as well. But I'm liking the idea that you're not stuck with one character skin and class. You, you can mix and match. Uh, so that's going to be some um, exciting times, I believe. Yeah. Um, now, the other thing that uh, came up at the Tokyo event that was Final Fantasy related was they did have a new trailer for Final Fantasy VII, The First Soldier, which I looked at and it looked badass until I realized that it was a mobile game. At a battle royale. Um, because, like, I, I was I was looking at this and I was like, oh, that, that looks cool. That looks... Uh, I like the environments there. It's it's you know and and uh, and then it, it got to the end and I and I realized that it said iOS and Android and I was like oh well that sucks because I'm not a big mobile game player especially not this type of game. Yeah, I, I am like a adamant like like boycotter of mobile games. I've yeah. played zero. My last mobile game was on a Game Boy Advance. Like, I don't play them. And when he said that, I said, oh, good. I don't like Battle Royale anyway, and now I don't have to feel like I'm missing anything. Because, <laughs> like, I immediately was out. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm out. You said mobile. Boom. Yeah, which there were a lot of trailers for a lot of games I am interested in at the Tokyo event. Uh, most of them were trailers we've already seen, though. I mean, we, 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 you know, you saw trailers of, like, let's see. Oh, yeah. The, the, you know, stuff like the, there was. Red uh, yeah, Red Redfall. Um, I I'm think playing there was Scarlet a, Nexus right now. Yeah, there was a Guardians Excellent. of the Galaxy trailer, I think, that we've already seen. Oh, yeah, with the faux Guardians. Like, yeah. They did that with Avengers and it didn't work. I can't believe that these characters look nothing like the movie. They made sure they that guy does not look like Chris Pratt. They went like, no, this is... 
<laughs> Jimmy. Like, I literally, when he popped up, I said, is that supposed to be Star-Lord? And you didn't, I don't think you even realized it was Star-Lord, but I saw the jacket. I said, no, I think that's Star-Lord. No, I, I realized. I realized. Uh, but, like, wow, well, I was just like, oh, just give us the ones we know. Now, it is nice to see, because I've thought about picking this game mm-hmm. up for my uh, – Switch, but uh, I'd much rather see it on PC, and that's the new Monster Hunter Rise. Um, looks like an interesting game, and it will be it will be on PC here coming soon. So it may be something that I that I pick up, play around with. I don't know how close it is to Monster Hunter World. I really couldn't get into Monster Hunter World just because of how much of it was. Uh, heavy on the online elements of it. Um, you really wanted to play with friends and we've already established that I don't like playing with friends. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I tried to try the game pass, the one that's on game pass, but uh, combat was really slow, man. I couldn't get into it. Like, yeah, that's world. That's world. Yeah. It, like, it, I know, I know it's supposed to get faster, but it started out so slow. I got mm-hmm. bored fast. It just said, this is not that interesting. And then I, I, that's the problem with Game Pass. There's other stuff you can play. So I was just like, mm-hmm. all right, what's the... Ooh, hey. <laughs> Code Vein? If sure. It, <laughs> if, if, if anybody wants to check out Zeno's disdain for playing with people, just go watch the first couple of chapters of our uh, Dark Alliance videos and him bitching and complaining about wanting to leave and go do his own thing because we were running around doing shit without him. So that's a perfect example but once you start watching closer towards the end, you can see we all coalesce and get together as a group and actually kick some ass. So uh, once we get his, his, uh, him, him in the deep end, he's usually, usually fine. But getting him out of that shallow part kind of takes some coercing. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, there hadn't been a lot of uh, – it, it's also an issue of cross-play. Like, I, I prefer to play on PC for most games. And uh, cross-play still sucks. Even the games that support it – they tend to be riddled with bugs when uh, when you do crossplay. So, I've I've tried playing uh, playing online with the Xbox, and honestly, especially games like Borderlands, where I'd much rather have my mouse, I, I, I'm forced to use a <laughs> controller. And but Zeno, if you were able to play Borderlands on your PC with us, then you'd have no excuse for sucking. So this is helping you. Mm-hmm. You can blame the controller. But I don't suck when I play on PC, so See, he could say this because we can't prove it because it's no <laughs> Oh, anyway, it's okay, man. Flax real strong. It's also he can carry both of y'all on his. I back. can just play by myself, and then nobody knows I suck. So. No, I'll come over and watch. You know, I do that. I've sat in the living room, and been like, man, shoot for the head, like aim. What's your excuse for not aiming? You ran around not aiming, just firing from the hip. That's because I gave time. up on aiming with a fucking controller, man. I I I'll I tell you, man. I have trouble with the sensitivity of 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 joysticks. You like need to work on your finger. I right? I'm like all in there or not at all. You know. <laughs> your degrees are good. You need to work on your finger work, man. Oh, maybe I just use my tongue. I'm better with that. Um, all right. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That would be an interesting new <laughs> controller accessory, the new tongue pad. <laughs> now you're now you're going back to South Park references. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All oh, right, um, oh South God. Park. Let's see. Other news that came out of the Tokyo was uh, Xbox came out to say that they are focusing a lot on Japan and Japanese developers. So uh, it's it's. it's you know, we we've talked about how Sony has sort of forgotten Japan as uh, as as a company. Well, it seems like Xbox is trying to fill that in with uh, with really pushing more Japan developers for Xbox and pushing their American developers to hire full uh, translation teams to translate and have full voiceovers for J- Japan. So. You have uh, they they they're talking about their latest game, which is Starfield. Um, over one hundred fifty thousand lines of dialogue. They've hired over three hundred actors to do that translation. It's one of the largest translations ever. Uh, they have a full time uh, 
Japanese voice cast for Arcane Studios. So that's uh, that's going to be really cool. I mean, it's amazing that that they said, let me just slide on in here. You know, they like mm-hmm. saw that. They're like, oh, you don't want to take care of Japan? Hey, we're going to have this big 150 lines of dialogue, man. 300 actor team for the translation. Because you know what? But the, you know, like the Xbox, like, all right, we've been wanting that, get that Japanese market. And well, at least you can trust the Xbox. The translation probably won't have weird, hidden mm-hmm. political agendas in it. You can't trust the Sony translation anyway. You know, they've been known for sliding censorship and changing stuff in their material and so's Funimation. And I assume Crunchyroll. I get sad every time I think about that. I don't know where you're going to get any decent anime anymore. So uh, maybe Xbox can start something. But um, it's really cool that somebody is... Because, I mean, we got our games from Japan. They shipped them to us. I remember as a young kid when they first started porting games over. And I always appreciate that. They, 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 you know, they had the good games, and they started trying to get them here. Mm-hmm. And now we can pay it back by going, hey, we got an American gaming company. Bethesda is an American studio, or if not, it is now. It's owned by Xbox. And we're going like, to translate this properly for you so you can enjoy it. I like that full circle of gamer society. And then out here is those assholes Sony. But like in here, we're still trying to have an ecosystem mm-hmm. where we're taking care of each other. And trying to work together. And I've always liked that about Xbox Attitude. I've always felt like that they've never really tried to be like separations. They've always tried to get to every market. They tried to sell to everybody. They tried to sell to Japan. They weren't into it. Maybe now they'll be into it since Sony said like, we're living a California life, man. If you ain't with it, you ain't with (laughs) us, you're against us. That's Let's oh. not get into that. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're going to call it in California. Well, on, but, top uh, of, uh, on top of Xbox talking about Japan, Capcom was also talking about PC. Um, so as an as a, as a, as a avid PC gamer, I am happy to see that uh, some of the game companies are trying to take PC more seriously, especially game companies like Capcom, who have been primarily console-based uh, uh, companies. Uh, looking more at PC, so... What my Mega Man? <laughs> Kitsune has been waiting on Mega Man Legends 2 for years. Yeah. He still talks about waiting on Mega Man Legends 2. I thought I was waiting for another Mega Man game. He has been waiting. Like, he... Or is it 3? They did a crappy Mega Man Legends 2. But y'all know what I mean. Mega Man Legends, whichever the sequel, he's been waiting on it for a minute. And, like, he still talks about that, that, like, he has been waiting on that game. And for me, like, I liked Mega Man X. I wanted more Mega Man X. Uh, But I also love the original Blue Bomber. But I I like Mega Man X. But, you know, all these reboots, but they're not rebooting what I want. I'd love a Mega Man reboot. Uh, Well, done by sane people. But uh, laws of don't, don't let Sony have anything to do with it. But I'd love a Mega Man reboot because they got so far in the Mega Man series, they kind of need to reboot. They kind of need to reboot and decide to go with a cohesive storyline that proceeds to a conclusion anyway. I would actually not be opposed to a Mega Man reboot as long as they didn't get weird with it. And yeah, let Roll be in it on action from the beginning. I'm down with that. Like, let's do it. Have you be able to pick your character? Play through the game as either Mega Man or Roll. She's got quite a strong fan base. Just don't literally write Mega Man out. That's my fear is that they'll just write them out all together. Do Mega Man do role? Proto Man, my boy. I love to play some Proto Man. I love the few times they let you play Proto Man. Do a Mega Man reboot. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Uh, you got anything on that, Blood Axe? Uh, I know you're not a big PC gamer, so. Not anymore. I used to be um, oh, back in the late 90s uh, when Doom and Hex and all those games came out. Um, but uh, he's right. Uh, Mega Man could use a, a soft reboot. Uh, playable characters. Uh, I remember playing Zero. That was always a a fun in Mega Man. Um, But uh, the flexibility of being able to choose your character, not being forced into a role, uh, which we were talking about before the show and some of these other games where you have just one choice and it's not a character that you're interested in. But having those choices does give the game some flexibility and and opens up to a wider audience. Uh, So, yeah, I'm, I'm up for that. But uh, PC gaming, yeah, that's kind of not my cup of tea. I'm going to defer to you on that one, Zeno. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, now the the last thing I think that was that I saw that was of interest from the uh, Tokyo 
was uh, they did Xbox announced that they were pushing uh, Scarlet Nexus to the Game Pass, which I know uh, when they did, you picked that up, Q. So uh, any, what, what do you got to say with Scarlet uh, Nexus? Any good? Is it uh, worth the Game Pass it's, time? It's uh, an action RPG. So far, it's not been too bad. Uh, I'm still pretty early in it. I'm a few hours in, but it is an action RPG. Uh, rough story concept, psychic powers. You use They use technology to help you control your psychic powers. World's been invaded by monsters that are basically psychic monsters. And uh, so far, it's been pretty fun. It gives off a persona vibe from the story environment. The characters and the personalities kind of reminds me of some of the persona games. Mm-hmm. Um. And the powers play pretty smooth a little bit. I haven't finished upgrading everything, so this may be that game where you have to level up before the combat gets smooth. I've seen games like that. Little The male character's powers are a little, little bit clunky, little clunky. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, it's pretty fun. I mean, here's the best part. If you're on Game Pass and you like action RPGs, spend some time with it. Uh, I mean, to put it like this, I, I, I stopped playing Greedfall to play this. Like, I was playing Greedfall, did won me over from Greedfall, and I started playing this instead. Yeah. So, there you go. I mean, the, the, the trailer announcing, announcing it sort of pissed me off because I'm like, okay, we know you got gameplay because the game play today on Xbox Game Pass, but the trailer yeah, they playing. show has no, has gameplay. no gameplay whatsoever. It gives you no idea... They of how this game plays. They had a demo like way back before yeah. the game released. I, I was just amused by that. I was like, you you would think if you're announcing that this game is available to play, that it's been out what already. We, you yeah. you could you could show me some gameplay in that like video. This, this ain't Devil May Cry. <laughs> this ain't God of War. Just show me a little bit of gameplay, man. Okay, but it, but I'm just saying this ain't <laughs> this this is Bandai Namco. You know they hit or miss. Like, if you can spend some time with it. For Game Pass, mm-hmm. it's worth the download because Game Pass is an amazing value. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest you buy it. <laughs> if you said, should I buy Scarlet Nexus, I'd be like, get Game Pass. <laughs> and then go play Greedfall if you didn't like it. You know, like, <laughs> you, know you got other action RPGs. Go play Final Fantasy, you know, right. either one on Monster Hunter, if you didn't like it. But, I mean, I'm playing it. But, yeah. I mean, I've been playing more Gears with Blood Axe. Like, I, I play it when I'm not playing something else. It's a nice filler game. The good stuff's coming out later. Like, I'm waiting for Back for Blood, which comes mm-hmm. out, I believe, this month. Oh, I believe this month is Back is. for Blood. And I'm looking forward to getting on, my, getting on there with my boys on that. Because I used to love Left 4 oh, Dead. Oh, shit. I meant to get on Halo this weekend. I'd gotten the... Sorry, uh, well, no, but I'd gotten the beta release uh, pass or oh, whatever, okay. and I, I meant to get on that this better weekend. Better go practice, because I don't need I it. I forgot. Yeah, so, so I Back for Blood's October the 12th, uh, so that's coming out in uh, about a week and a half. I'll better go and practice. I think we, and I think we found a fourth. Uh, uh, it's funny, Maggot uh, had sent me a message that he pre-ordered it. I'm like, dude, don't you have Game Pass? He goes, yeah, why? I said, if you pre-ordered it, it's already on Game Pass. You want to get your money back. He bought the deluxe edition. <laughs> He's not going to have pre-ordered a game on Game Pass. <laughs> and then, I was, then when he got his money back, he looked, he already pre-downloaded it. I'm like, oh, man, you need to get some sleep or something because <laughs> that's just messed up. Uh, but uh, now he wants to play with us. So I may have found a, a fourth or a, a rotational fourth, depending on if Zeno wants to play with us or not. Man, all I know is I feel that once I get on there, my old Halo skill is going to come back to me. It's been a while. I made a Halo Reach, last one. But they're going to come back to me because I used to play some Halo. And I'm going to we'll get see. on that task. Well, uh, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Get on your little PC. Let's see if your mouse save you. <laughs> when you get a bullet in the teeth, I'll be like, oh, no. Try rolling the mouse ball, man. Are you? you so but, let's map your buttons. <laughs> map your buttons, you know. What's happening? Watch uh, out. There's something on your face. What's that? Oh, that's a plasma grenade. Yeah, we'll right see. Right here. We'll see, man. Right here. On Let, let's, here. let's see how much shit you talk once we once we get on there. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Game so, on. Yeah, no. He, he talks shit even if he loses. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I have to ask you then, what did they do to your tomatoes? They fucked my tomatoes up. 